Hey, it's Double Switches, and I'm here with Webcam Parrot. Hey. And today we're going to be talking about Rain Offense. So Rain Offense is basically just a team that abuses Rain and what Rain does for specific mods. And we're just going to look into the archetype and expand what we know about it. So And specifically hmm. offensive teams, not like defensive teams. Because you do see the odd... Uh, like bulky, stallish rain team, especially back in black and white and stuff like that. But yeah, just offense for this video. And uh, the main backbone to most rain teams is setting up the rain in the first place. So the first, the biggest thing you want to talk about, the two biggest ones for this are the drizzle users, which in this case is Pelipper and Politoed. So generally speaking, like, Pelipper is really, really good right now, and it pretty much outclasses Politoed in every single way, with the only the only reason, really, to use Politoed is if you want two Drizzle users, so you want to use Pelipper and Politoed, but generally speaking, that's not great, um, because if just with the Damp Rock, you'll have enough rain turns to make things happen anyway. Pelipper can run quite a lot of sets, it can use its normal like damp rock defensive set which is you know good at getting up rain and even taking hits to some extent it usually has defog too which is really nice and u-turn uh, but you can also run a scarf or specs set specs especially is very good pelipper with specs is actually stronger than zard y it is a bit slower but it is an excellent breaker and it can really compress your team down and it is at that stage that you might want to run your Politoed or something else that gets up rain. Okay, so in terms of what other options you have, you have rain dancers, and mainly you're going to see mons like Mega Swampert or uh, Prankster Thunderous, Prankster Tornadus, and Prankster Klefki, or Rain Dance Manaphy. Swampert is mainly just going to be using it to abuse it with Swift Swim. Thunderous and Torn T and Klefki, they're all just so Thunderous is mainly going to be abusing things like uh, the accuracy from Thunder. Tornadus can swim Hurricane and Klefki is mainly just there to set up screens or it's more of a utility mon. Manaphy, on the other hand, is there mainly as it can use Rain as for a lot of things. For one, it powers up Surf. But it also can abuse hydration. Manaphy mainly sets it up for itself, but on rain offense, you can use it for other mons as well because it's also nice to have. Yeah, one of the biggest things about Thundy and Klefki or standard tornadoes, if you're using them, is that Prankster allows them to always get up that rain with rain dance because obviously you can't taunt them because they have priority on their rain. So now we're going to talk about the offensive rain abusers, the things that enjoy having rain up so that they can bring the pain. Obviously the main uh, sub-quality here, yeah, sub-topic, is going to be the swift swimmers. Obviously the swift swimmer you're most likely to see, or is most well known, is Mega Swampert, which is fantastic. It has uh, great coverage options and it's water and ground stab are very good it's also a check to Nagina and things like Tococo which makes it excellent the next most common is Kingdra so Kingdra's fairly solid it does a similar thing to Swampert just is quick in rain hits hard with its dragon and water stab pretty good overall now if you want more of a breaker role you can bring something like Omastar which hits extremely hard in rain but is slower than Kingdra so bear that in mind and another thing worth mentioning is a Kabutops, which can carry a Z move, unlike Swampert. But generally, um, you're better off just running Swampert. Like Kabutops is, is not very good. There are also like a couple of other, even more niche Swift Swimmers, like Seismitoad, which I've seen run a Poisonium Z to hit things like Tangrowth and Feeny on the Switch, which are obviously things that are very annoying for Rain. Okay, so the next thing is that obviously abuse rain is water type attackers because rain boosts water type moves powered by 1.5 so obviously things like Keldeo and Greninja like 
ha being able to just spam off their stabs and hit even harder than they would do normally do and it just helps them break things like uh, battle bond greninja especially like it because it the initial power boost help it get into battle bond even faster um you also have things like pelipper like we mentioned earlier you have scarf and specs and obviously what it sets up the rain so it can abuse it with really powerful um hydro pumps and uh a hundred percent accuracy hurricanes then you have stuff like manaphy where rain lets it beat stuff like chancy and with plus four surfs and then you and it also lets you break stuff like uh toxic packs with uh, plus three hydro vortexes and rain things like that yeah and the final subsection of offensive rain abusers are the accuracy abusers so these are the pokemon that will use rain to ensure that those powerful moves hit so we're talking about things like tornadus t which likes to hit its hurricanes uh, coco gets to run thunder if it's on rain teams the same goes for magnezone and occasionally you'll even see a z hurricane volcarona set floating about and obviously there's the aforementioned pelipper that gets to hit his hurricanes all the time it's just really nice to always be able to land these powerful attacks um, without the drawback of the accuracy okay so next we're going to be talking about defensive rain abusers so rain cuts the damage fire types attacks do by half it basically negates any fire weakness any mon has unless it's times four or still times two but for mons that are extremely bulky like scissor and ferrothorn uh scissor only has a weakness of fire types and when you take away that weakness it's just extremely difficult to kill ferrothorn appreciates the exact same thing where now it only really has problems against fighting types and it's just extremely difficult to kill being a bulky lead seeker and he just sits there and sets himself up. Uh, there's also mons like Shelmet who are less obvious but what they can do is they it, it'll set up spikes and toxic and not have to worry about fire types um, and eat hits with EV light um, but it also gets hydration so yeah, which leads into the next topic for defensive rain abusers. So Shelmet is one of these hydration Pokemon. So obviously they have status removed from them using the Fangs Terrain, which means that they can run things like Arrest, especially in Shelmet's case, which can keep them at high health, and it just prevents them being worn down in general. So some other honorable mentions, although none of these are particularly great, things like Gudra, Manaphy, Vaporeon, and again, Shelmet. They can make decent defensive Pokemon on rain teams, although for the most part these are somewhat underused, with Shelmet probably being the most viable amongst them as a defensive Pokemon. So in terms of what rain has to prepare for every game, there are some specific things that you have to keep in mind every time you build rain. So the first thing we're going to talk about is Ferrothorn and Tangrowth. So like we said, Ferrothorn and Tangrowth are fire weak, but under rain they don't have that problem. They also are grass type, so they naturally resist the water type attacks you're going to be spamming. They just usually have really good matchups against rain teams, and it's extremely hard for you to kill them when your main offensive pres presence is going to be coming from mons like uh, Swamp or, or Kingdra, who don't really have good ways of touching them. Another issue is going to be mons like Keldeo. Keldeo also has stab hydro pumps and whatever and that threatens you because you're setting up rain for it and now the opposing Keldeo is able to abuse it really nicely. Uh, Scarf Keldeo also outspeeds Mega Swampert under rain so it can come in and force out your Swampert whilst getting a boost from rain which is a giant pain. Uh, and this is kind of on par with like other things that you'll run into other rain abusers that somebody else is using like if somebody just has a ash greninja on their team well you're inadvertently giving them a boost with your rain or if they have you know their own mega swamp or their own if they're running rain then suddenly you have this problem of you know getting counter sweeped by their rain abusers if you haven't prepared for them appropriately 
Uh, and another thing to mention is other forms of weather, so stuff like Zard Y, T-Tar, and uh, Nine Tails, they obviously interfere with your rain own uh, weather, and that prevents you from abusing rain or get, you know, getting the benefit from Swiss Swim. So when you're building your rain team, you want to make sure that you have responses to these things. So for instance, you might run Superpower on Swampert to hit Ferrothorn on the switch. Now after Ferrothorn has taken a Superpower from Swampert, it's not really going to be checking anything else on rain. So it's going to be down to you know, 20%. And uh, if you're dealing with things like Tangrowth, you'll, this is why you'll often see Hurricane on Pelipper, or you'll see Tornadoes with Hurricane, or Volcarona with Hurricane. Uh, just to make sure that Tangrowth doesn't wall the entire team. Another honourable mention is something like Tapu Bulu, which can be a big problem for rain. And this is why you will often see things like... Uh, I say often, you'll sometimes see things like Poison Jab on Garchomp or Seismitoad with Poisonium, so that you can hit stuff like Tangrowth and Bulu hard enough to get them out of the way for the rest of your rain, rain sweepers. So another issue is going to be Keldeo or opposing rain abusers because you're setting up rain so it's it's pretty simple for them to use them and because Ferrothorn and Tangrowth are good on rain you can just run your own and it as it's difficult to deal with for your team it's also going to be difficult to deal with with opposing rain abusers in Kaldia. Other forms of weather are also issues like Zardwai and Kitar. There isn't really much you can do because they they come in and set up weather so the only thing you have left is to run cheese like uh, Rain Dance Pelipper or run uh, or just outplay them. There, there really are no other options. So now we're going to look at some example teams which are linked in the description. You should be able to see them just numbered one, two, three. And uh, the first one, well, the first thing we want to say, I think this is something that Doubles has already noticed. Uh, so all of these teams have. Uh, yeah, if you, if you haven't noticed by now, the first mon on every single team is, is Pelipper, because it's just the best setter. It's probably like the best core for rain. And then they all have uh, Mega Swamper. It's just a really nice Mega to have, because its defensive typing is nice. It also hits on the physical yeah. side. And it's like the best, you know, Swift Swimmer to yeah. have access to, man. It has great coverage. Yeah. But uh, looking at the, the first team, I suppose, we've got a very classic core here. We just, you know, the uh, Pelipper, Swampert, Kingdra set up, and then we've got Ferrothorn, which is also very common. And uh, we've got something quite interesting here as well, which is uh, Rain Dance, Damp Rock, Thunderous. And uh, the Pelipper is actually choice specs as well. So this makes sense, you know, you don't have Damp Rock on your Pelipper, so you want to bring another way to set up Rain. Uh, it also has Curse Muck, which I have no comment on. Yeah. <laughs> don't use Curse Muck, it's my, actually my one comment. I don't know why it's on this thing. But NJMT, NJMP made it, so it must be good, right? Curse Muck. Okay. Uh, the next one is a team that I made, which is uh, pretty cool. It has a pretty amazing Magna Zone set. So uh, for the most part, we're just using Dank, Dank Rock Pulper, got that Swamper. A power up punch on Swampert actually, which I quite like. Uh, you also, so uh, this team is relatively similar. You have, uh, except for you have Magna Zone. Magna Zone is pretty interesting because you can sub up on things like uh, Ferrothorn, who can't really touch you, and usually Rain is an issue uh, because uh, they can see. So, uh, Leech Seed and Protect on you, and you can get drained away, but uh, you can just sub up on Fair Thorns and they really can't. I mean, that's yeah. part of the reason, yeah. I mean, Magna Zone is obviously being run to trap stuff like Ferrothorn and also um, Mega Scissor, because Mega, yeah. Scissor, Mega Scissor actually does beat uh, Mega Swampert, so it's nice to just have that there. Uh, yeah. But another thing is that with Sub and the Z Thunder, it can actually beat more well 1v1 and trap it which a lot of people you know are not prepared for so that's pretty cool and you know it benefits from the thunder too so you can like throw out a z thunder hitting really hard yeah it's pretty it's pretty standard otherwise i suppose tornadoes is a little bit odd as well we're running the taunt yeah. which you are running heat wave even in rain because it's still 
pretty much the best option. It's still going to two-hit KO Ferrothorn and stuff like that. So yeah, this team has like plenty of options for getting rid of Ferrothorn and Tangrowth. Yeah. And yeah, just generally solid those roll. And also it can trap more, which is mostly just funny. Yeah. And uh, lastly, we have the, the greatest Shelmet. team. Shelmet. The Shelmet team. Yes. Shelmet has a comparable physical bulk to Skarmory with that EV online. And it's, you know, only got that bug typing. So it's actually reasonably bulky. Uh, as for like the rest of the team, it's a lot more standard. We're using Choice Specs Pulper on this team again, and so we're using Rain Dance on Shelmet as our next setter, which I think is cool. Yeah, well, it's definitely something worth trying. And obviously, the spikes and the toxic and the rest that you'd always see on Shelmet. Uh, yeah. Swamp Purse running Superpower again to hit form. Latios, uh, just as like a way of dealing with Zard Y, because it can obviously be a big pain for rain teams. And uh, right. offensive Lando, because it's broken. And then Greninja yeah. to also make use of the rain, because it, you know, specs yeah. rain boosted Hydro Pump from Greninja is terrifying. Yeah. So uh, that's all for now. Make sure yeah. you uh, leave a comment and let us know what you thought of the video. And uh, check out the, the teams in the description again. And we'll see you for the next one. Bye.